Okay, welcome back guys. Um, on the previous episode, we, I promised to show you the mail that was sent to me by my hosting provider when I bought my domain and my hosting. So you could look, see how it looks like and then get familiar with it so you don't really get confused when you begin to see this kind of stuff by yourself. So whenever you buy a domain name or hosting, the uh, product information or details will be sent to your mails and then some few guidelines on how to set them up so it is not um, hard as i just did i got a uk client who said he needed a website a website for his company a multi-purpose company a company that deals with um, um cleaning services hr that is a um, human resource and then um, videography and photography so those are the three categories of um, that website so but the client said he had a, a more secure payment method over there in the UK. So I asked him to buy the domain and hosting by himself. Otherwise, I would have used that to show you how to buy the domain and the hosting. But it is not hard. So whenever you buy a domain or hosting, um, you get the product information in the mail you used to open your account with the company because before you buy um, a domain or hosting from Namecheap, you should uh, have an account with them. So you should create an account with them in their website. And then when you are creating your account, you are going to enter a mail or an email address. So it is that email address that they will send your product um, details to. So yesterday he bought um, this domain and This is the other summary of the domain. If you look at see name cheap, other summary. Uh, as a date is October 19. Today is October 20. And um, this was his payment method. This was the um, stuff he bought. IQNovagroup.co.uk. This is the domain. And then this is the hosting. Stellar business for IQNovagroup.co.uk. Um, so this is just like a receipt like i showed you something like this on the previous episode so but this is what i said i was going to show you name chip hosting of your hosting account details this one so this is the hosting account details for iqnovagroup.co.uk all right so this is the domain that my client bought yesterday so they are going to send you a mail like this. Now he said, "Hi, one case great news. Your shared hosting account with Namecheap has officially been set up. The following email contains all the information you need to access and start using your account. Happy hosting!" So this is just like um, a thank you mail, um, trying to welcome you into their hosting um, uh, package. All right. So if you want to. Like maybe you have not been doing this before, like someone like you that has not seen this kind of mail before. You have to take this quick start guide. Just um, take a look at it and you see some few informations that you need. Though you don't really need anything from there because it's just uh, trying to walk you through all those um, newbie um, welcome messages and all those stuff. So I don't think you need them. So. This is what we are interested in. This is hosting package details. The hosting plan is Stellar Business. That's what uh, the client bought. That is the kind of host he bought. Then the domain name is iqnovagroup.co.uk. The uh, start date is 19th October 2022. And um, server host name is this. This is the IP address of this particular um, domain and host. So. Then, but what we are going to be needing, the most important thing that we need here is our cPanel um, login. So this is the name servers too. We still need this. But then, because we bought everything from Namecheap, there's how these things work. You can buy domain from a separate company and then buy your host from a separate company. It is through this name server that you can link that um, domain 
you can point that domain to the host it is through this name server i'm going to show you how to do that but i recommend for you as a as a new newbie or as a beginner if you want to buy a domain and host it buy it from one company don't buy from different company because you are going to get confused on, on the wrong ground so for now that you are just starting up just buy from one company as of yesterday my client bought this domain and the setup and everything was done automatically by them within the space of one hour i think there was a, a space a place they specified that uh, okay he said if you registered a new domain when you first purchase shared hosting everything is already set up for you in your hosting account so you don't need to worry if you are buying from one particular company you bought your domain and your host from one particular company then the setup will be done for you by them you don't really need to go through any setup but then if you bought your domain from a separate company your host from a separate company then you have to use this name server you have to link um the host to the you have to link the domain to the host through this name servers here so that is the importance of this name servers dns1 DNS. so i'm going to show you how to do that i'm going to show you how to do that anyway so don't worry so i said the most important thing is this cpanel details because that is what we are going to be needing the most cpanel is also called control panel so that is like the 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 brain of your website that is where you do most of the things you that is where you you have um most control of your website and the contents all right so this ftp and sftp details is just for file transfer or file upload you can use this ftp port to upload um your files as you can see from here so that is almost all that is just what you're going to be seeing on that mail so it is very easy just like i said if you are buying from one company they are going to do all the setup for you but if you are buying from a separate company you are going to need uh, point this name server this particular name server to the host so let me show you how to do that it is easy let me log into my name chip account now oh. So I think I've shown you all these interfaces in on the previous episode. So I'm sure you are not um, uh, new with this interface. Uh, so it's still loading. Sorry. Mm. Okay. So. This is it. This is um, expiring date, 2023 October. So this was bought yesterday, ikunovagroup.co.uk. So this is um, a domain, not the host. This is a domain. So click on manage. When you click on manage, that's if you have bought this domain, for instance, from a separate um, company you come to this name server this name chip web hosting dns sorry this name server here this one so click on this and then click on um custom dns so this is name server one and this is name server two so you go back to that your details copy copy name server one copy this name server one sorry like this like this you copy this then come here then paste at name server one then name server two you do the same thing copy copy this sorry so copy this and then go back and paste then after you have done this you can click on this save icon here this 
small good um, sign and then save though I don't need to do this I'm just trying to show you if you had bought this if I had bought this domain from a different place and I want to connect it to this host I'll just go to this name server and then paste this um, the name server that was sent to me by my host so that is just the only thing you need to do and then your um, domain name is now pointed to your host I think it can take just um to uh, let's say um, 10 minutes or thereabouts between 10 minutes and 15 minutes then everything will be set up so but for now we don't need to do this all right so that is basically what you need to do to set up your domain and i think i have fulfilled my promise of showing you a mail that contains a domain um or hosting uh, um, package details all right so that is this is the way it looks like so in our next episode we are going to enter into installation of wordpress then after the installation of wordpress we now start the web design proper because like i told you when we started i told you about cms and i told you the cms we are going to be using for this tutorial is wordpress so i'm going to be showing you in the next episode how to install and activate um, WordPress on your cPanel.